How do electric cars work? Electric cars are no longer the future. They are the now. These battery-powered cars ditch fossil fuels in favor of the same stuff you can run a toaster, hair dryer, or your games console from. What makes them so different or similar to the petrol and diesel, well, the cars that we all know so well? This guide explains. How do electric cars work? An electric car powers its wheels using electric motors not too dissimilar to the ones you'd find in a radio-controlled car, albeit much bigger and more powerful. These motors draw power from banks of rechargeable batteries that are typically stored under the floor of a car. Less commonly, they can be stacked where you traditionally find an engine. The inner parts of an electric car Electric cars are much simpler than those driven by an internal combustion engine that burns petrol or diesel fuel. Traditional cars use thousands of components to burn fuel that turn this energy into power that can be transmitted through a gearbox to the wheels. An EV only needs two core components. A motor, or two, sometimes more. Most electric cars on sale right now use a single motor to power a car. These work by creating a magnetic field that turns a rotor shaft this is used to drive the car's wheels. A lot of performance-oriented electric cars use two motors for more power, usually one at the front and another at the back. Three motor setups are uncommon, but it's an unheard of. Take the Audi E, Tron S, and Tesla Model S plate, for example, while serious electric hypercars like the Rimac Navara use four. Batteries. Battery packs in electric cars are made up of stacks of cells, a little like the way a TV remote uses multiple batteries stacked together. Power from these will then be used to power the car's electric motors. These batteries are rechargeable and can be topped up either at home or through faster public chargers. What are the different types of electric car? There are three common types of electric cars available. Battery electric vehicle, this is the most common type of electric car on sale at the moment. Simply, these are electric cars using just batteries and motors for propulsion. Fuel cell electric vehicle. Fuel cell electric vehicles are more commonly known as hydrogen cars. These use a fuel cell that takes hydrogen and converts it into electrical energy. Hydrogen cars have a benefit over BEVs in that they can be refueled with hydrogen in a fashion similar to topping up petrol. However, very few stations are open in the UK at the moment and hydrogen cars are much more expensive to buy than conventional EV equivalents. Extended Range Electric Vehicle Extended range electric vehicles work very similarly to battery electric cars but have a very small petrol or diesel engine on board to charge the batteries. These are increasingly rare though. The last e-rev vehicle on sale in the UK, the BMW i3, left the market in 2018. Charging an electric car. You can charge an electric car at home or by using faster publicly available chargers. Support for particular types of charging will vary depending on your model, but the most common types include three pin plug home charging, as long as you have a free plug socket and a cable long enough to reach, you could charge an electric car from regular 3-pin sockets. However, this will take an extremely long time and you should avoid using extension cables. These are not designed for charging electric cars and may fail, potentially leading to electrical fires. Home Wall Box Chargers Most car manufacturers will offer a wall box with your new electric car though you can have these installed by a third party too. These are dedicated charging points wired into your house which provides much more power than a regular plug socket, typically around 7 kilowatts. As a result, they can charge an electric car in a few hours. It's an ideal way to keep your cars topped up when you're at home. Public charging. If you need more charge, that's while you're out and about though, more and more public charging points are becoming available. Speeds can vary massively, from 7 kilowatts units similar to those you can have installed at home right up to 350 kilowatts rapid chargers that will charge compatible cars in less than an hour. Public charging tends to be a lot more expensive than charging at home though, so you may be best using it on a needs-must basis. 
You also need to be mindful for your adapter type when using public charging. Your complete EV charging guide. Driving an electric car. Where an electric car is incredibly similar to a petrol or diesel one is how you drive it. The process is the exact same, just with less noise. If you already drive an automatic car, you will be right at home. Though most electric cars don't use a gearbox like internal combustion options. They can be operated in a similar fashion with drive, neutral, reverse, and park modes all replicating automatics. One thing that does differ is regenerative braking. This is where the car uses its brakes to convert kinetic energy into charge for the batteries. Many cars will allow you to alter the strength of this and it creates a similar feeling to engine braking, which is what you would use in a petrol or diesel car to slow a car down by changing to a lower gear. The electric vehicle market experienced explosion growth in 2021 and that growth projected it to continue into 2022. In January, Tesla reported $5.5 billion in 2021 profits, more than six times higher than its 2020 earnings. And while demand for EVs continues to grow, auto manufacturers like Tesla worry that ongoing shortages and supply chain issues could limit production. Is 2022 the time to dip your toe into the EV market? If you're hoping to snap up an electric car in 2022, you'll have more options than just the popular Tesla Models 3 and Y. Car manufacturers from Toyota to General Motors are nipping at Elon Musk's heels with their own EV models with Ford rolling out an electric F-150 to be released in the spring of 2022. And BMW, Nissan, Toyota, and GM have already bought up ad space during Super Bowl LY1 to market their new vehicles. Electric Car Statistics The electric vehicle industry continues to set records. Recent Growth Electric vehicle sales increased 40% year-over-year, accounting for 2.6% of global car sales and about 1% of global car stock in 2019. Current Usage of the 200 most populous metro areas, the 10 cities with the highest uptake in EVs had a 10% of EV share and 935 public charges per million people. On average, 59 EV models were available in the US in 2020. Each of those models had at least one sale, and 12 of those models had more than 4,000 sales. In 2020, EV model availability in Europe and China was between three and five times higher than in the US, since Europe and China have stronger incentives promoting EVs. The US has around 46,000 public EV charging stations as of 2021. There are around 120,000 EV charging ports in the US alone. According to the Department of Energy, most of those ports are level two chargers Note that charging stations can have multiple charging ports. EV charging startups have received more than $2 billion from investors, according to PitchBook. Most of that investment occurred in the last five years. California alone accounts for around the same amount of EV charging stations as the 39 states with the lowest count combined. The 50 most populous metro areas in the U.S. account for about 55% of the population, but about 77% of EV sales. Predicted Growth Zero emission vehicles will account for 70% of new passenger vehicles globally by 2014, according to a Bloomberg New Energy Finance study. Environmental Effects States with zero emission vehicle regulations had a combined new electric vehicle share of 5% and typically at least 13 more electric models available than states without such regulations. That's all we've got for you. So that was a list of ways you can charge an electric car, hoping that it was information worthy for you and it was enough for you to understand how it all functioned. Would you like to have these EV and have a fantastic experience? Give this video a giant thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any future videos.
Which EV do you think is the most incredible? Please join in and let us know what you think in the comments section below.